Welcome to the Great Basin Smoke Dispersion Briefing for Thursday, October 14th. Over the last two weeks, we've seen storm systems move across the Great Basin, bringing us precipitation across most areas, especially across the northern and eastern half of the region. Some drier spots have been parts of southern and central Nevada, and also parts of central Idaho, which have seen well below normal precipitation recently. Snowfall over the last 72 hours is shown here, and you can see with the storm system that has been moving through over the last couple of days, we have seen some higher elevation, especially snowfall over the eastern half of the Great Basin, and many areas have seen over 6 to 10 inches of new snowfall in the highest elevations. Also, some lighter snowfall back further west into parts of northeast and central Nevada and the central Sierra. Currently, the snow depth is shown on the right. You can see we still have some snow, obviously, in the higher terrain of Utah, Wyoming, and Idaho, and has been melting pretty quickly over parts of the Sierra. Looking at our most recent satellite loop from this morning, you can see the trough of low pressure now moving over the eastern side of the Great Basin and will continue pushing eastward. We still have plenty of clouds and some showers this morning over northern Utah, and that will continue to push east with a ridge of high pressure building in temporarily from the west. So later today, again, that storm system moves into the Rockies. So we will see improving conditions across the Great Basin, but still cool northwesterly flow over much of the region. We will have good dispersion, especially over the eastern two-thirds of the Great Basin. Looking at our transport winds, the image on the left, still those gusty northwest winds, so some downslope winds, especially over the Utah mountains and also over parts of Wyoming and some breezy winds over parts of southern Idaho. Much lighter winds further west over western Nevada. Mixing heights will remain moderate to high. As we move into Friday, this storm system tracks well to the east, with a ridge of high pressure building into the Great Basin, bringing us gradually warming and drier conditions. Still some breezy northwest winds over northern and eastern areas. Dispersion will be decreasing as that ridge moves in and the winds decrease going into Friday afternoon. So by Friday afternoon, we will see much lighter winds across much of the area. Still some breezy winds over parts of Wyoming and far southern areas of the Great Basin, with mixing heights decreasing uh, generally in the low to moderate range. As we move into Saturday, that ridge moves over central areas of the Great Basin, so this will be one of our warmer days where temperatures will really increase uh, with valley temperatures reaching the 60s and possibly even 70s over parts of the northern areas of Nevada and over into Utah. Ventilation will remain poor over the eastern side of the Great Basin with that lighter wind under the ridge and will be improving a little bit over western areas as that next trough starts to approach. Winds on Saturday will generally be very light over the eastern half of the Great Basin and light to moderate over western areas, with mixing height in the low to moderate range. Looking at the forecast clearing index for Utah for the next few days, today with those breezy northwest winds, we will see high clearing indices over much of Utah. However, this will be diminishing rather quickly on Friday and Saturday as that ridge moves in with decreasing winds. The three-day forecast amounts of precipitation, much of that precipitation will only really occur today over parts of the higher terrain of northern Utah into Wyoming with generally light amounts of precipitation. As we move into Sunday, the next storm system moves into northern California, and this will push clouds and possibly some showers into parts of Idaho and northwest Nevada, along with increasing southwesterly winds. Dispersion will be increasing as those winds increase across many areas of the Great Basin. By Monday, that storm system tracks further east over the eastern half of the region, pushing those showers further east across much of Utah, eastern Idaho, and Wyoming, with still good dispersion and those west to northwest winds over much of the eastern half of the Great Basin and winds starting to decrease as the next ridge moves in over western areas. And by Tuesday, that ridge moves into the western side of the Great Basin with that storm system exiting into Colorado. So we will see improving conditions with clouds and showers but also we will see a dispersion start to decrease under that ridge of high pressure. And by Wednesday, that ridge moves over the eastern side of the Great Basin, which still with still a very large trough off the west coast, which will impact the area from mid to late week. With the next storm system moving in early next week, we will see some lighter amounts of precipitation, mainly over the northern half of the Great Basin, especially in the higher terrain. And then the 8 to 14 day outlook taking us into the end of October, shows warmer conditions over the eastern side of the Great Basin, uh, but some cooler conditions into western areas, and we will continue to see storm systems move across the Great Basin, so we will see better chances 
of precipitation going through the end of the month, especially over the western side of the Great Basin, which is looking to be above normal with respect to precipitation. That concludes our smoke dispersion briefing for today. Check back on Monday for the latest updates as we will be issuing this webcast on Monday and Thursdays. Have a great day.